being constant ass so i'm playing it some more um yeah hope everybody's doing great tonight the weather uh pretty solidly kicked my ass on the way home from work it is sn uh, snowing like crazy and that uh sucks fat wiener if you are driving if you're not driving it's great it's very pretty and uh you get to stay inside or, or play in the snow outside. But I stay inside and find pentagrams in a space station. Because that, <laughs> that is what kind of game this is. Um, yeah, it's very, it's very uh, cozy to be snuggled up in the super apartment right before Christmas. I have uh, not one, but two different hot cocos in front of me. Uh, because... My beer run was upended by this bullshit weather. So, the super apartment is out of beer. It is out of liquor. And there's not even any of Jess's wine that I could uh, swipe from her. But that's okay. I'm not an alcoholic. I just like to have... I just like to chill out with a drink while I... Slay hellish mutants. You know, as is my, you know, as is my right. I'm in, uh, you know, I can do that. Free fucking country, guys. Um, so yeah, I got two different hot cocos. The reason being, one of my hot cocoa mixes recommends hot milk. And I don't have hot milk. I have hot water. Uh, so I'm making do. But if it's uh, ass nasty, I have some backup stuff that is proven to work. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that, we'll see how that goes. And to make shit double Christmassy, I, I splashed, and since I don't have any milk, I splashed in a little bit of my, uh, peppermint coffee creamer in there. And if they're both disgusting, I have a ton of water. So it's very wintry and very cozy here in the super apartment. You have an exam tomorrow! Fuck it! Just kidding! Study! <laughs> don't, don't even, don't even play with that shit. Thanks for popping in, though, man. Good to see you. Even if only for a moment. Though, you have piqued my curiosity. If you can tell me what kind of exam it is before you go study and be a responsible human, that would be awesome, because I'm very curious. Because I'm nosy, I, I fucking guess. <laughs> Why do I want to know so bad? You do you, man. I'm way going the wrong way. Probably. I gotta get my bearings again. I'm not in that doom zone. Alright. Yeah, speaking of feeling Christmassy, I got a bunch of presents wrapped up. For Jess? She can't know what they are. And she might listen to this, so I'm not going to say what they are. But they're very exciting. I love Christmas. I know it's stressful for a lot of people, or depressing for a lot of people. Totally understand it. Totally understand anybody that's like, nah, fuck Christmas. I get it. But I'm way on board. All that silly shit. It's just fun. You put a tree in your house. And a fat guy that has mastered the dark arts comes in and gives you presents. That's amazing. Cool. That class sounds dope. One of my favorite classes in college was uh, comparative religion. It was sick as hell. You, you learn some really cool stuff in a class like that. So... Go study. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you come back, maybe I'll fucking remember what I was supposed to be doing. Because I don't. Challenges, exploration. Shut down the Argent Tower. Okay. 
take it that's the Argent Tower. Yes. Okay. Noise. Was I like right next to it, probably? Okay, we'll figure this out. We'll figure it out, dudes. Oh, didn't make that jump. As geeked as I am to have the presents wrapped, I am a little nervous about our hilariously fat cat Hobbs ripping up the wrapping paper. Because we've. This is, uh. Ooh, more stuff. He likes to. He likes to claw up and, and nibble on plastic, like plastic grocery bags and stuff like that. And I did catch him just clawing on some some loose wrapping paper, so I'm keeping a watchful eye on his little ass. Hopefully he doesn't... So if I... <laughs> if you hear rustling and uh, yelling, there's not a burglar, I'm just <laughs> telling my cat to leave the presence alone. There's no food in there, you little fucker! You don't care. <laughs> okay. What is that icon? Well, fuck, I guess I'll go towards it and find out. Right? How about I look at the map 10,000 times? That'll be fun to watch, right? There's something. Yeah. What's this? Oh, yeah. New shit. Rip. What do I do? Let's see. Well, let's jack up the ammo. Spread the love evenly. Booyah. Oop. So that's not what I needed, but it was rad. That's a health station. Okay, so I need to get out of this zone and get to that. Okay. So, one thing at a time. Also, uh, just finished the Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 finale, and the show is great if you even a little bit like Evil Dead stuff, or if you just like the combo of fucked up horror and insane slapstick comedy and good one-liners. But that last episode was weird, and... Jess and I both thought that. We were like, well, that, that last episode, it ends on a really strange note, and it doesn't quite fit thematically with the rest of the show. And I found out it is because the, the showrunner quit right before that episode. And so they had to, like, slap together just a whatever ending because Dude Man wasn't even there to finish it off, which is... A drag but uh, what really bummed me out was that he left because he was like constantly fighting with Rob Tappert who is who's been a producer on the Evil Dead movie since the first one back in like 1981 like dude man's been in it forever and then I got really bummed out when he was like well we've been I've had to fight every step of the way blah 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 I had to fight for the colon scene, and if you if you watch the spoilers, sp spoilers everywhere, uh, fucking spoiled milk, all up in this piece. But um, if you watched season two, one of the like standout holy shit they've topped themselves moment 
was the colon scene. Uh, Ash goes to the morgue. He's got to get the book. It's stashed away in a corpse because of course. And uh, shit goes sideways because of course. And the fucking corpse comes to life and there's a colon monster. It's like sentient sphincter. And it shoves Ash's face up a dead body's butthole. Because holy shit awesome. And uh, <laughs> pun intended. It's great. It's great. It's a perfect, like, over-the-top, insane, gross, funny, Evil Dead kind of moment. And the showrunner who quit, Craig DiGiorgio or DiGrigio or whatever his name is, he's like, yeah, I had to fight really hard to get that in. I'm like, damn, that's, like, not a great sign. One of the best moments in the show was, like, hotly disputed. It makes me worry for season three, I guess. But maybe not, because... It was it was on the AV Club, this big interview with him, where he where it's kind of shitty that he put the producer on blast by name like that, um, but he also was like, here was my pitch for the season finale, and again, spoilers galore. Sorry if you plan on watching this, you should not listen to what I'm gonna say, but so that last episode they travel back in time to 1982 to uh to stop ash from ever reading the book to prevent everything from happening prevent pablo from getting killed and so in the finale how it aired you know they have a fight with the bad guys and then win and then ash gets a hero's welcome back home and it's it's strange because it seems like it's not real um and yeah, it's just kind of a strange kind of bullshitty ending. It, it's like, it's verbatim like the ending to Star Wars, the original 1977 one. It's like, uh, huh, this seems like, and so it's, they thought of maybe it's like a fake dimension or something, which is fine. But the showrunner's ending uh, proposed that Ash would meet up with his dad, because he's still alive in this timeline. And try to find out, try to patch things up with him and find out what he was trying to tell him right before he died. That's great. Cool. Because as it stands, that, that concept has not been paid off, really. Fine with that. The other aspect was that uh, Ash would hook up with a rando in a bar, knock her up, and that it would retroact, it would be Kelly's mom. So he would retroactively be Kelly's dad. And for my knee-jerk reaction was, oh, knee. But then I thought about it for like a second. I'm like, that's stupid. That's way too convenient. That ties up everything way too nicely. I was suddenly not in favor of it. And suddenly starting to kind of get where Rob Tappert was coming from. So, yeah. But all that aside, all that drama aside... And that kind of weird, not quite satisfying season finale aside, it's a fucking awesome show. It is probably my favorite, like, currently running TV show. Like, nonstop awesome practical effects. And it's funny. And, and weird. It's just kind of a perfect little thing. So, check that shit out. Okay, I gotta remember where I'm going. Once I have... Okay. Once I remember where I'm supposed to go, I'm gonna take a sip of my first hot cocoa. Now, if you're playing along at home... Hobbs, get out of here! Hobbs, get away. <laughs> Hobbs shows up right as I'm about to take a drink of the hot cocoa, because he's food boy. Yep, I know. I'm so mean. Get off the table. Okay. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm about to try the first hot cocoa, which, if you are playing along at home, this is the one that called for hot milk, and I put hot water in it because I don't have hot milk. So, oh, and I can't play this one-handed. Zero out of ten. Do not play. Just kidding. Oh, 
Okay. Hot Cocoa number one is totally viable. It's not like the fucking awesomest thing ever, but it satiates my need for Hot Cocoa while I do murder. <laughs> nice one, laser boy. Okay. Stop it! Get out of here. Okay. Boom! Give me that meat! Give me that meat. Do I have power-ups I need to be putzing around with? I got two points worth. Ooh, can I sex up these micro-missiles? Not yet. Oops, wrong button. Oh, do I need to switch modes? I forgot how to do that. Shoot. Oh, unequip mod. There we go. Tactical scope. These are both great mods. I can't afford that either. Okay. So let's get those back in there. Okay. Oh, activate mod. There we go. Nope. Ooh, I completed a bunch of challenges. Well, look at that. Okay. That's where I need to be. Let's let's give it the old reach around. Shall we? Oh, I love I got to say, uh, I love filling up a map. That is some old-timey Super Metroid shit, but it is weirdly super satisfying. Like, mmm, turn that gray-blue. Yes. It matters to me. Ooh, there's something up there. Some kind of devil shit. How do I get up there? Come okay, in. Now oh, I probably can't jump to it. What the hell is that thing? Okay. Yeah! Oh! Oh, it's a rune! Okay. We'll get to you. Oh. Maybe we'll get to you right now. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Rune trial. Pistol. Let's do it. Let's do it! Destroy 30 barrels. Sweet, finally an enemy that I can deal with. <laughs> Though this is doom. Are these are these fucking murder barrels? Oh no, my aim sucks. Okay, okay. Shit. Never having to reload is beautiful. Oh god. Whew. 28 shit. Okay. We're doing this. If I hung out in the foundry for an hour last time, I'm going to spend some time with some stupid barrels. Believe you me. Is this a dumb strategy? Maybe. Do I care? Maybe. No secret barrels? Fuck! Oh, 
Barrel's my arch nemesis. Hobbs? No! There you have it, folks. Sorry if I blew out your eardrums. Hobbs, no! Fuck! Oh, this is so tense, guys. No! I blame Hobbs. 29 out of 30? Hobbs, I blame you. Hobbs, I love you. But also, I blame you. Alright, hang on just a sec. Hobbs, I love you, but I also blame you. Don't fuck with this stuff. It's not your presence to open, Hobbs. Man, you want hot cocoa. You want just his Christmas presents. It's good to want things, Hobbs, but not everything. Just be a good boy and sit with me. That awkward moment when there's no video, so <laughs> there's a possibility that maybe you think I'm talking to myself, but there really is a little fat cat here. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy until he's a bad boy. Have to keep an eye on him. All right, come on, barrels. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Rocking these barrels. Oh shit, 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 shit. How is that one underground? No. Okay. So, I need to work out the best path through barrels. And I need to not get carried away and shoot the ones that are far ahead of me. This is the strategy. Okay. Don't shoot the ones that are too far ahead. Oh, except those ones are so tempting. Ah, I can't help it. I can't stop myself. I'm trying to show off. Be like, look, my aim's not that terrible, right? And then it proceeds to be double terrible. No. Not. This. Time. Fuck! How did I miss that? No! Fuck! <laughs> I can't blame Hobbs for that one. He is sitting quietly. That was all me sucking butt. All right, we got this. It's all good. See, the booze makes me a better shot, I think. So this is, I'm at a serious disadvantage being sans alcohol. It's a real thing. Maybe. There was a Jackie Chan movie about it. Fuck it. I'm shooting what I want. It's my life. There's a Bon Jovi song about it. FYI, in what universe are these barrels? Like, holy shit. If I, if I worked in a stock room and they're like, hey, Matt, grab some barrels, and I had to grab these fucking things, I would have a, a heart attack. Uh, what did you miss? Me sucking at this and then <laughs> having to yell at my cat. So, jury's out on if he actually missed anything. Yeah! Actually, never mind. That was my first time doing that. And you saw me do it on the first try like a boss. Booyah. That was some fast studying, bro. If you get, if you get a D- minus on this test, you can't... I, no, fuck that. I would totally vouch for you. <laughs> if you needed a character witness on an exam. I've been out of school a long time. I don't understand how it works anymore. Mm. Oh, wow. So the hot cocoa mix I had was good. But I think there are... It's also very old. 
which was another thing I forgot to uh, forgot to mention. That was another risk that I took with that hot cocoa. And uh, there's these sad little remnants of marshmallowlets in there. So it's kind of hilarious. Been studying for the past four hours. Hey, you should feel honored. I fought barrels and I won. That, that's solid, though. Four hours, you gotta take a break, man. For real. Hey, so... Pop quiz, hotshot. That's a reference. Um, what is... What's the most interesting thing you picked up in your comparative religion class? I wanna... I wanna hear it. Give me the, the hot goss. Hot gossip. On, uh... On religion. Because there's some crazy ones. I'll, uh, I'll start with one of mine. Uh, Hinduism is super interesting because they have a huge pantheon. Shit ton of different gods. And uh, pretty like... Pretty, pretty cool about sex. Like they have a bunch of rituals that are just like, Yeah, this thing represents a boner. And uh, this represents spooge. Get over it. Sex is awesome. I'm like, good for you, Hinduism. That's pretty rad. I realized I wasn't very specific because it's been a long time since I took that class. Also, I'm very curious if your class talked about Scientology. New spirituality. Life of Pi. That's cool. Yeah, Hinduism's super interesting. You got, like, literally a pantheon of, I think, not even triple digit, but, like, quadruple digit number of gods, which is fucking awesome. Ganesh is badass. That's a guy with an elephant head and a shit ton of arms. He was formed by bubbles in another goddess's bubble bath. Oh, see, you got it. You get that. You get that boner talk with Hinduism if they're legit. You should have talked about Scientology, but if you didn't, is it because it's a scam? Because I would, I would argue that's a valid reason to not address it. And uh, big apology to any Scientologists if you're out there. But holy shit, you got to get out. It's bad. It's real bad. Oh yeah, Vishnu's sweet, dude. Shiva is sweet. Hinduism's pretty bitchin'. I feel like it doesn't get, it doesn't get a lot of like airtime in pop culture, or when it does, it's just like a quick name drop. But there's some super interesting shit there. It's all cool, man. I love. Uh... Dude, yeah, she's going hard on, um, she's going hard against Scientology, which major props to her. I actually haven't had a chance to watch her thing, but I read her Ask Me Anything on Reddit, and that was, I don't know, man, super interesting stuff. The South Park episode is great. It's a bummer. It's a bummer that they trap people. And just fucking milk them. They trap somebody in that scam and just bleed them dry and bleed their whole family dry. It's like, dude, that's fucked up. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I guess fight it. I guess fight it is what you do. I should watch it. I also want to watch, did you see uh, Going Clear? Which was that HBO special from a couple years ago? Because I heard that was great too. <laughs> I, I get a little Christmas break coming up. Maybe I'll maybe I'll binge watch horrifying documentaries about Scientology. Oh sure, no, I I I I assume that it's all fucking horrifying. They have like death camps and shit, man. FYI, if your religion has death camps, that's a bad sign. <laughs> maybe try a different one. 
Just a thought. I'm all for I'm all for respecting other people's beliefs. I do respect other people's beliefs, but I gotta make an exception for Scientology. I get kind of fired. I I apologize. I get kind of fired up about that one because it fucking bothers me. Going clear is another uh, is another Scientology tell all. It's a little it's a little bit older. I think that came out in like 2014. But yeah, it was it was a big HBO special. Which even though it was only a couple years ago, even even then it was like considered pretty pretty ballsy of them to do. So I applaud it. Look. Oh no. That guy keeps whipping my ass. I'm rusty. It's only been a week. I'm already rusty and crusty over here. Let's all just convert to Zoroastrianism. <laughs> That's one. I actually don't really know anything about that one, except it used to be kind of big, like way back in the day, and then and then went away. It could be fucking horrible. I'm I'm purely joking because it has a funny name. Boy, religion. I think this is the first... Is this the world's first, uh... Civil religion conversation where it wasn't just an echo chamber? That's kind of hilarious that we jumped straight to that. <laughs> hey man, if you want to see Travolta, you just hang out at his gym late at, late at night and hope he uh, thinks you're cute. And again, I joke, but that's also sad. He should just be comfortable with being gay instead of like having to hide it and, and, and fucking pretend he's not. That's a bummer. <laughs> Congratulations to us. Lift a glass, my man. Or lady. Or whatever. Because everything's fine. Everybody do them. It's all fucking good. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sitting there trying to charge up my shotgun shot. And I forgot it's got a cooldown time. Oh, I got it. Yes! Yes! Nighty night. I earned that nighty night. There's all these explosion barrels. I, I always forget about my explosion barrels. There we go. Oh, demons. So many demons. Guys, calm down. Oh, it's because this summoner. Woo. Where'd she go? Or he. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, frog DNA. Now that's the jam. That's what you want. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, punching mode! Yes! Punch, 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 punch! Give me your guts! Ha-ha! Fuck you! <laughs> ah, I punched her into parts! Fuck yeah! Oh, this is a sweet game. Oh, this is a sweet game. Mmm! Mmm, feels good. Okay. Who else can I punch? Damn. The answer is nobody. Give me your USB card. Oh yeah. Can I upgrade my suit? I can. Let's get dexterous. Ooh, I can upgrade like crazy. <laughs> Dude. So John Cena, of course, is fantastic as a meme, but I gotta say, uh, thanks to Snake Piss, primarily, just started watching wrestling, like in the last couple weeks, and I should have been watching it during the Attitude Era. I was the right age, but I didn't, like, I didn't get it. So I'm watching it now, and that is, it's dumb. Like, it's totally dumb. But that is some of the most entertaining shit I've 
ever seen in my life. Uh, New Day is the shit, and uh, I love I love watching beefy guys punch the shit out of each other. It's just it's wonderful. It's good TV. Let's see, what can I do? Quick charge. Yes, let's take that. <laughs> But yeah, John Cena, top-notch meme. Every time that music kicks on, forget it. That shit is super hype. Dude, yes, it's like dancing but violent. It's like some of it is so impressive to watch. Like my favorite dudes are um, Rey Mysterio and the guys like him, the High Flyers. Shit's incredible. And... Uh, yeah, it's like dancing but violent, but also you get this great, stupid soap opera, and it's it just works. I'm, I'm there. We're, we're watching Raw, and just every week I'm like, you know, booing at the bad guys, cheering for the good guys, or, or not even the good guys, just the guys I like, because I think New Day are considered heels, or like slight heels, but it's, damn, that shit's fun. Highly recommend it. Get, like anybody who's not on board try it just in case because I thought for sure I was like nah fuck that it's dumb until you know the video games were actually the big gateway drug for me um okay so I need to get through there because the games are super fun and then it just kind of escalated from there. What am I missing? Ooh. Dude, now you're talking. Well, shit, have you heard of uh, Kaiju Big Battle? It's like an indie wrestling circuit that they do in New York City. And it is all dudes in rubber monster costumes wrestling each other and i gotta say i've watched a little bit of that and was pretty on board with it i mean the production values are are pretty pretty low because it's very it's very indie but there was one there was one promo in particular for a big show they did where they had within the ring they built a bunch of miniature buildings and stuff and they were slamming each other through the buildings. I'm like, this is perfect. This is, it should always be like this. And I think it was only for that one match. But they're, it, they're very close. It is a thing. If you look it up, it's... Um, battle is spelled wrong. It's spelled B-A-T-T-E-L. Um, but yeah, it's Kaiju Big Battle. It's, it, it's actually been around since, like, I want to say the mid-90s. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like... It pretty much exists, but just on a micro budget. You know, pro wrestling's big in Japan. I I'm kind of shocked that they don't have pro wrestlers playing dudes in Ultraman. I guess because they're busy being pro wrestlers. But uh, Minya from the Godzilla movies, he was played by a midget wrestler, little or uh, excuse me, big man Machan, or little man Machan. I guess it wasn't ironic. But yeah, that's why Minya's so fucking great. Because a wrestler played him, and wrestlers are good actors. They're good physical actors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kaiju Big Battle, you take one look, and you're either into it or you're not. And it's, ki it's kind of hard to not be into it. One of them's a big can of soup. Like, it definitely, they definitely graduated from the Ultraman school of monsters. Where it's like, fuck it, go nuts. Okay, there's got to be an alternate way to this then, because I'm not finding it. Or I'm missing something very obvious. I'm very good at that. Ooh, there's a little... Do I have that collectible yet? Okay. Let's find out. By looking at the map 300 times. I 
I think Comedy Central or MTV might have picked up Kaiju Big Battle at one point. Like for a minute in the early aughts. Oh, I flew way past it already. Oh, thanks for reading, man. That was that was a lot of fun to write. I fucking love that movie. Oh, and you commented on it, too. Thanks for comment. I love comments. I just love that people read this shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. Because some I gotta say, every once in a while... Every once in a while, doing stuff online does kind of feel like just screaming into a black hole. So it's good to know people dig it. Next up, speed... I mean... It's an open secret, but this month I'm doing the full first season of Ultraman. So I'm pretty geeked about that. I've actually started... I've seen I've seen about half of it before. But I'm going through and just starting from scratch. Well, you know... I... Oh, Hobbs. Don't choke yourself. Hobbs, come on, buddy. You're being trouble tonight. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Don't do it. There you go. Okay. No, Hobbs. So Hobbs has his big cat tree. He loves it. And it's great because it makes him exercise. And it gives him... Cats like to be the highest point in a room. So it's great that he uses it. But... Uh, and we put it next to the window, too, so he can look out the window. But the thing is, sometimes he gets really relaxed and kind of leans his head over the ledge... And I think it kind of chokes him a little bit, and then he doesn't know to not allow a thing to choke him. So, yeah. Hobbs, Hobbs is being a tension boy tonight, I think. But, uh, but yeah, to kind of circle back, I'm not surprised more people... I wish more people read it. But I'm not surprised because I realize it's a pretty... And I'm going to say this wrong. Either niche or niche thing because it's you know a lot of people don't watch giant monster movies and then out of those that do I assume a bunch aren't into my weird like sweary <laughs> pop culture -y sense of humor so it's like it's kind of like a fraction of a fraction but I'm I'm fucking psyched anybody reads it but at the same time I'm always 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 looking for more all right, maybe I need a key or something. What is wrong with my brain? Questioning your faith? We all have doubts from time what to time. else? Where else can I explore? Ah, oh, here we go. This is promising. Let's head over there. Let's just head over there anyway. There's a doodad up there. And there's shit over there. Yeah, we'll just, you know what? We'll just super Metroid it up and fill in this map. Instead of bonking my head against the wall over and over again like a dipshit. Alright. But yeah, so Ultraman's next. Which is... Holy shit, that is a, a media empire unto itself. What is the secret to more readers? Two words, uh-oh. Big boobs. Oh, oh no! Oh no, Maymays! I need so many Maymays. It's true. Maymays, kids. I, uh, I don't know, man. I love, I love memes, but I'm not even going to pretend like I know how to make them. I try here and there, or should I just capitalize on them? Just have a bunch of, uh, pay, pay the frogs and what even is, what are the hot memes right now? He asked. <laughs> The old shitty man asked, "What are, what memes are the kids into these days?" You see, I'm very old, <laughs> lame. <laughs> I n now, so meme. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm not saying that memes were. Oh, beam. Yeah, B movie's a big one. And I, I don't know, I, memes crack me up, 
but there is I think there is like a there is like a an alchemy to it or something. You got to nail just the right thing. There's like a secret sauce there. Not saying that it's hard, but there's like a strange alchemy to it that if you don't do it right, it seems forced or just doesn't land. Ah, oh, fucking these guys. Look. Review B movie. Like for the blog, I thought about doing stupid shit for April Fool's Day. And I would do that if I did more than one review a month. Because I was thinking about doing like... Because I always do giant monster movies. I thought it would be funny to do a tiny monster movies. So do like Gremlins or uh, or a real shitty one like Ghoulies. But, uh, but I'm like, by the time I get it done, it's going to be like April 15th at best. And so it won't make any sense. I'm, uh, I'm not surprised, but maybe sad. Memes, memes work best in short format, I think, too. You either do a video or just a picture and text. A long, I think a long form meme would defeat the purpose of a meme. Which is kind of hilarious to think about. Okay, so we're going to make our way to that zone over there. Just the phrase long form meme made my toenails curl up. Fucking May Mays. Now when it comes to when it comes to crappy DreamWorks movies, I always preferred Shrek as the big uh, the big meme target because I feel like even though I I actually liked I think Shrek one was a good movie, but like it got so overexposed and that fucking Smash Mouth song got so lame that it was like just just the tastiest meme fodder. B movies got the soulless part down. And, hate to say it, but, like, Seinfeld's Irrelevance is a real nice sauce on that one. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sad. I'm not sad about shit. Oh, I don't have time to be sad. Which is, uh, <laughs> the early version of that line from Predator. Jesse Ventura. There's a deleted scenes. Jesse Ventura saying, I don't have time to be sad. Just kidding. Where am I? Bust out your Predator DVD and find out. Mm. Hobbs, you're staying out of trouble, I see. Very good. Being a troublemaker. Hobbs, if you had opposable thumbs, you could do this live stream. But you're a cat. The only video game you like is Solitaire. <laughs> ah, ye old DVD. That was another great South Park. That's actually maybe my favorite South Park, the one where Randy buys Blockbuster. Because guess who's a former Blockbuster employee? That's right, this guy. I'm just gonna keep dating myself over and over. But yeah, that, that South Park episode, they've got some writers or something that used to work there because they fucking nailed every single aspect of that. Right down to the dorky employee who was like, hey, people will come to rent scary movies for Halloween, right? Because that motherfucker was me. And guess who doesn't show up? Anybody to rent scary movies for Halloween. They even got the shelves right, which kind of terrified me a little bit. These shield guys, man, I have not cracked the code on them.
fuck? Oh, I got caught up on a guardrail. There we go. The code is super shotgun. Hell yes, I'm excited for the next South Park game. That first one was, it was too short. I definitely agree with everyone who said that. But it was so much fun that I give no shits about how short it was. I never knew, <laughs> I never knew how badly I needed uh, rated R Paper Mario because that's what it was. And it was wonderful. And plus, like, superheroes as a theme, I think, is a little more exciting. It looks like they've done... They, it looks like they're branching out a lot in regards to the combat. Like, they kind of added in some, some turn-based strategy elements to it, which is exciting. Fucking psyched about that game. Alright, let's not go outside yet. I want to see what's upstairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's doodads up there. Also, man, any game that has create a character, I will I will give a, a shot at. For some reason, I just love making a person. Oh, this guy. All right. Heat blast. That sounds cool. Stun bomb. Hmm. Black on burst. Or. Ooh, <laughs> mid air detonation. That is some perfect dark shit. Thank you, sir. Bam. Gimme. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to put a computer guy through college. So that's nice. <laughs> and you can make him fucking stupid looking and he won't be mad at you. <laughs> it's really a, it's a win-win. I think my favorite creative characters are always in wrestling games. Actually, to circle back to those things for a minute. Those are always super in-depth. And just, like, hilarious. Um... What I especially love about the wrestling game ones is that I have a tradition where... Oh, hello. Oh, damn. I have a tradition where I try to replicate myself as closely as possible. My, my doughy ass. <laughs> and then put them in the ring with, you know, Brock Lesnar. And see how that goes. And you now it used to be I would um I would make myself up like Booker T as much as possible, and I would name my character Booker F, because my last name starts with an F. And I would give him the same moveset, but you know, he's a two hundred pound crappy little white guy instead of big awesome Booker T. And then the last time I did it. He just kind of looked like Jonathan Davis from Corn, and I'm like, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I did my other stock character, which is a luchador called the Silver Cyclone. <laughs> oh, Saints Row, man, that is a whole can of worms I'm going to dive into someday. I actually got one of them for free on Xbox 360. I think it was three... And, uh, it just seemed like an awesome scene to dive into. Oh, fuck. How did I end up here? Let's circle back. Yeah, I, I love those big I love those big sandboxy games like Saints Row, but the the double-edged sword is like the the commitment. Like it's it's I'm at that point where it's it's a little tougher to Oh, that looks like an elevator. 
Is that what's going on? Okay. But yeah, I'm at that point where it's a little harder to commit to a game. You know, these big sprawling epics that are like, oh, it's like 70 hours long, or it's a huge world, and I'm like, yo. <laughs> I got like, I got a few hours a week, man. Like, can we work with that? And that's where Doom kicks in. Mm. Doom just asks me to run around and murder demons. And I'm like, yeah, I can roll with that. We can make that happen. Fill in a map and murder demons, Matt. You got it, game. Give me a shotgun and point me at him. I do love those big open world games, though. I'm fucking freaking out for uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, that that got announced just a couple weeks after I picked up this PS4. I'm like, fuck yes! I made the right choice! Western is a genre of game that I'm shocked we don't see a lot more of. It just makes sense. Like, need an excuse to shoot guys? It's called the Old West. Let us shoot guys there. Love the map, but oh, I can't go through here. Damn. I love the map, but I wish it displayed doors. Station locked. Though I, I think the same thing about giant monsters. I can't believe... I feel like nobody's nailed a giant monster game yet. Like, some have come very close. But... Nobody's nailed, like, everything I want out of a giant monster game yet. Okay, that looks promising down there, too. Aw, oh, dude... Knowing Rockstar, they might even do a Valley of the Guanji Easter Egg because they had that whole Undead Nightmare pack, which was all kinds of crazy fantasy stuff. I would not even put it past them, which is awesome. They're, they're such a fun, they're such a cool developer. It's like them, Nintendo, and Valve are, are kind of my, my main three where it's like, I'm just fucking glad you guys exist. <laughs> Please keep making games forever. There's probably a couple other good ones I'm missing, too. But those are the first ones that come to mind. Oh, tell me about your monster game. What's your, uh... Oh, it wouldn't have to be Guanji exactly. If you threw a T-Rex in there, everybody would... Everybody who would get it would get it, if that makes any sense. But uh, throw me the elevator pitch for your monster game. I want to hear it. Like, uh... Yeah. Like, in a, in a sentence or two, break it down for me. I'm curious. Because base... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave it at that. I think I think every... If, if, you're, if you're in the middle of the Venn diagram of monster fans and video game fans, I think everybody in the middle of that has had this thought. So I'm, I'm always curious to see where others slot in. Turn around. No, don't turn around. Turn around again. I have the worst sense of direction in the fucking universe. It is amazing I've ever completed a game before in my life. Okay. Hop up the stairs. Right. Oh, 
Okay. So, based on the tone you're going for, that would imply to me that you are not playing as the monsters, you are playing as the the people on the ground. Which is a which is still which is still a concept that I feel like nobody has really nailed down yet. Like nobody's gotten that right. There's been a there's been a few games that have gone for that and they haven't nailed that down either. And if you are damn. If you are interested, if I'm right, first of all, but also if you oh shit. <laughs> I'm doing hand gestures that no one can see cuz that's how I talk. Uh, <laughs> train of thought if you're interested in a people on the ground giant monster game i would personally keep an eye out for city shrouded in shadow which um is coming to playstation 4 and vita and you play a dude or lady you get to pick um trapped in a city that is under attack from a giant monster including uh, Ultraman, Evil Ultraman, whose name I forget, Godzilla, and I want to say some Evangelion monsters? They got a bunch of licensed monsters for it, which is crazy. And uh, they announced it like a year or two ago, and then it fell off the radar, people started assuming it was dead, and then just within like the last week or two, it popped back up. Not with any more info, but really just to say, hey, it's not dead, it's still in development. That's cool, though, like a survival horror kind of thing. You know, I don't know who's doing City Shrouded in Shadow. Um... I don't know if it's the PS4 Godzilla team or not. I For some reason, I had it in my head. It is somebody else, but it's been a while since I've researched that aspect of it. I For some reason, I thought it was a different team altogether, but it might not be. I think it is still um, Bandai Namco doing it, which would make getting the rights to those monsters probably easier for them. Okay, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> okay just i've been over here a billion times now i haven't checked out this corner maybe that's something i can't get to that corner i can't get to that this must be thrilling to watch <laughs> okay we're gonna figure something out promise So in your in your monster game, would you hold out for licensed monsters or do you have your own in mind? Because I think there's pros and cons to both. The pro to licensed monsters is fucking licensed monsters, hell yeah. You, Godzilla or, or whoever you want, that's awesome. That's a huge selling point and is just exciting. But the con to licensed monsters is that you got to play by their parent company's rules. Like Toho is notoriously uh, strict about what you can and can't do with their monsters. And uh, that can restrict you development-wise. And so the reverse, the reverse is true for just you know, new monsters that you create. You don't, you don't have the excitement of, holy shit, it's monster so-and-so, but you can do whatever the hell you want with it. Yeah, ri original monster, especially if you're going for satire, I feel like that is, that is the ideal setup. Because then you can do whatever you want. That's pretty cool, man. Are you pursuing, um... There's a lot of avenues if you are interested in just developing it yourself. Because Unity is free. Unreal Engine is free. There's, there's other stuff too. There's like Game Maker Studio. 
That's cool. So yeah, you assign like some symbolism to your different monsters. That's that's pretty tight. That sounds cool, man. Yes. Keloid scars. The first the like first draft versions of him, his head was like almost mushroom cloud shaped, which looked kind of goofy from some angles but then looked rad from other angles. All right. Fuck this, I'm jumping down here. Okay, so there's this thing. I need to shut that shit off. Probably. Or just jump to it. Yeah. Well, so I've I've done I would if I had a time machine I would I would do college completely differently and and end up in a place where I could be working on games probably. Or at least software development. So I've done a lot of... Shit. <laughs> I've done a lot of research on... Um, game development as a career. Different ways to tackle it. And consistently, the thing I've read from people who are in the industry is the best way to get started is to just make little games on your own. And... Um, like, very little. Like, make a ripoff of Pong. Make a ripoff of Pac-Man. And then you kind of work your way up. And building that portfolio of little bullshit games. Not bullshit. Little, little starter games. Gives you not just the expertise, but a portfolio you can show off. And, like, the best way to make connections with other people making games. So, I need to practice what I preach and do that shit myself. But I would, if, if you're super serious about it, I would recommend looking into that. Unity in particular, they have a bunch, they have a shit ton of tutorials on, uh, on how to get started. Like little projects and stuff like that. All the way up to like pro level heavy hitter shit. Because circling, man, we've come full circle a billion times. Full circle, uh, my dream game, I, can't, <laughs> I gotta stop gesturing so wildly, my dream game is a monster wrestling game, because wrestling games fucking rule, and uh, you watch those 70s Godzilla movies, they're big wrestling matches, and like, the Pipeworks games were close, they were so close, but they didn't have, shit, they didn't have that emphasis on grappling, and they didn't have that emphasis on like, close quarters, and flashy maneuvers that a wrestling game has because uh, for my money the best wrestling game of all time is Def Jam Fight for New York that shit is so rad it makes no sense I mean it kinda makes sense rappers fight and are, are... So, I mean they have beef they get into scraps at nightclubs and shit but uh, it's awesome and so, really, if I could, I would pull the guts out of that game and just slap a monster coat of paint on top of it and then be perfectly happy. It'd be a game pretty much just for me, and I don't care because I just want it to exist. So someday, I will <laughs> work my way up to that eventually. God willing. But first, I need to practice what I preach and make my little... little you know, goofball Pac-Man, Space Invaders type shit and work my way up to it. We shall see. Alright, what the fuck am I doing? I keep saying that. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Get that sleep, dude. You want to be... You want to be fresh and crispy for those exams. Good luck to you. And take it sleazy. This is much anyway, because I am literally going in circles. <laughs> Good night to you, sir. 
the Doom Slayer. Fuck yeah. Okay. Mission shut down the Argent Tower. Okay, but I can't get to the Argent Tower. And I don't know why. There's a power up there. That I can't get to. Is that that? I've been over there like a million times. There must be something blocking that. Okay. Well, well, well. Go here. Go here. Nothing there. Boom. Kick that. All right, if you know how to beat this level, go ahead and uh, tweet the answer to me at mattsucksatthisgame.net. I'll send you a pizza roll in the mail. Hobbs, don't you give me that lip. That's right. Ah. Always fun to talk to Arricio, one of my favorite super apartment friends. But if you're out there, drop me a line, and we can yak about some shit. Straight up dookies. Are you excited about Rogue One? I am. I am, but I'm, I'm reaching, like... Star Wars fatigue. Like, I feel it setting in already, which is not a great sign. Because, holy shit, we're only on the second one out of this new run of movies. That doesn't bode awesomely. Open airlock. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. And that was the night everyone found out Matt's brain doesn't work. No, let's uh, let's chalk it up to I was excited to talk to a Riccio. We're gonna call it that. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I knew it. I fucking called it. Oh, Matt's missing something stupid. I knew for sure that's what it was. Oh boy. What's with me getting stuck for one hour? That's like my go to thing to do. <laughs> oh, yes. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, Doomslayer's the man. Doomslayer is the man. That is sick as hell. Oh, that looks fine. But yeah, Star Wars fatigue, right? I can't be the only one. The new one even looks good. I'm like, yeah, that looks sweet. But I don't... I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind when I see it. Cheeseburger, hot dog, french fries, pizza, fried chicken, biscotti, pancakes, breakfast combo, taco, apple pie. Very good. They could have thrown in something weird. That would have been funny. If they had something stupid in there. Like filet mignon. But what are you going to do? Yes, exit facility. Jesus Christ. What have I done? <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff. I'll take it. I explored a lot, right? That's pretty cool. Oh well. You live, you learn, and then you get loves. I learned that from an ancient proverb. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Oh, 
FYI, if you're keeping track, the second hot cocoa was just fine. A-okay, as it were. A-okay. So I was thinking, I was talking about this the other night with uh, with a friend. I was like, man, I, I feel like I feel like we're hitting Star Wars fatigue already, which is weird because it's only one Star Wars movie a year versus Marvel does like two or three a year, and I'm not feeling that same fatigue. And I chalked it up to how Star Wars is always just kind of Star Wars. You know, it's a bunch of people in space. There's some robots, there's some space guys, there's uh, lightsabers and shit, and it's it's like a straightforward adventure story, which is great. Love Star Wars. But Marvel can kind of go all over the place. You got Iron Man, which is a robot guy, and he's a, a snarky billionaire. But then on the other side of things, you've got, like, Captain America, who's like a aw shucks, gee whiz, kind of just good dude whose power is that he's a, a really fucking great dude. <laughs> like, and then and then on yet another side of the spectrum, you've got, uh, you know, you've got fucking weirdos like Thor. He's like a magic weirdo, fish out of water kind of thing. Or you got Ant-Man, who's like a heist movie, kind of scumbag dude, but like heart of gold. So like, Star Wars needs to maybe branch out or something. And I can't vouch for everybody. Maybe everybody's fucking gaga about it and just wants... Oh, what is that guy? Holy shit! <laughs> ah, hey, buddy! Oh, he's cool. Oh, wait, what am I doing? This is what it's about. Yeah! Whew! Noise. That is a cool fuck. Doom has dope monsters. Like, full stop. That shit is rad. That will save you for another day. Oop. Yeah! Oh, shit. Here we go. Blech. Give me that. Yeah. Meat time. Oh shit. He's huge. Why is he so fucking big? He's a skeleton. Oh shit. Bam. Whoop. Nope. Fuck. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Oh shit. <laughs> I love that computer voice talks about demonic presence like it's I I think I've said this verbatim. They talk about it like it's a fucking paper jam. Oh, demonic presence detected. You know, demons. Just another glitch. Okay. Give me that. Ah, oh, the classic classic movie tropes of a uh, sparks and steam factory. Love it. All right, there we go. There we go. That's what I want. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, skinless corpses, but normal shit otherwise. Well. What's up, buddy? Sorry about your meat. Argent energy. Give yourself to the cause. Oh yeah. Ooh. Super boots. Like the Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, double jump. Yes. Fuck yeah! Rip, rip! 
Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a Metroid shit. I love that. Ooh, hey, y'all. It's me, the Doom Slayer. What if you talked like that? Oh, man. Oh, where shall I fly to next? Give me this. And give me that. I feel like I had a point with Star Wars fatigue, but then I got jump boots. <laughs> and stopped caring about anything besides jump boots. I think out of all of the, uh, out of all the video game tropey kind of things, I think, I think double jump boots is one of the things I would most like to have in real life. That or fucking fast travel. Holy shit. That was a, a literal game changer just for games. If I had that in real life, God. I guess that's where they're going with uh, self-driving cars, kind of. Because I don't think I would teleport. Unless unless I knew all about the fucking behind-the-scenes science of that. I saw the fly. That shit is heinous. But also, like, best-case scenario... You gotta assume... It's a suicide machine. Like it breaks down your body on one end and then rebuilds it with your memories on the other end. You're fucking killing yourself. I don't know if I can... <laughs> I don't know if I can roll with that. I'd have to be teleporting somewhere real fucking cool for that to be worth it. Oh man. If teleporting existed, I could have gotten beer tonight. Maybe it is worth it. Oh, I have a double jump. What am I doing besides double jumping? Yeah! Okay. What up, ding dongs? Nighty night. Ooh, he popped! <laughs> Grody. There we go. Okay. Oh, what? Fireballs? Get that weak shit out of here. Yeah! Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. Oops. Oh, can't jump to that. Hey buddy. Yeah, give me your goo. <laughs> that could be misconstrued. Let it let the record show I did not mean sexual goo. Strictly platonic goo. Boom! Get out of here. Okay. Okay. What are next? Mm hmm. Ooh, shit. Okay. Well, that's where I need to be. That's also where I need to be. There's a lot of places I need to be. Okay, I'm gonna double jump to them, because double jumping is the shit. Looks like that's what I want, right there, maybe? Yeah, oh, duh, right here. And you... That is... There is almost nothing more satisfying than a, a nice, solid double jump. That shit is always awesome. Oh, goodbye... Man, Mars is fucking ugly. Look how gross it is here. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool to be on a different planet, but damn. Green, green and red is, like, statistically proven to be, like, one of the most unsettling color combos. It's why, it's why Freddy Krueger's sweater is green and red, because it's unnerving. So it's kind of hilarious that that's also the official colors of Christmas. Alright. Yeah, let's backtrack a little bit. I feel like they gotta have something tasty for me back here. 
when in doubt go the wrong way. Ooh. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, okay. Got a little too excited. Almost fell to my death. Okay. Give me something. All right. Oh, oh, we got something. Bad guys. <laughs> you gotta love a first person shooter where you do a Mortal Kombat fatality to guys on the reg. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Give me that meat. Oh, somebody's getting... Oh, fuck, it's one of you. I hate you guys. You're such a dick. Let's see what Shoddy Too Hottie has to say about it. Okay. Is there anything cool here? I mean, it's all pretty cool. Is this an ammo tank? No. All right. Oh, what a... Oh, shit. Hey, pal. Long time. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. 99, bitch. That is sassifying. Oh, that's right. You gotta run from me. I'm the Doom Slayer. Oh, my little buddy's here. My little not buddy's over there. Hey, man. Fuck you. If only I could aim. Alright. Yes. Ooh, and I got a thingy for that. Alright. Well, I guess I should do something here. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I guess let's do that. That sounds, that sounds pretty rad. Oh, I don't like how he punches that little robot boy. Hmm. Psh, typical, nothing good on TV. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, I'm not doing super great health-wise. Oh, is there a thing? that I love so this game is like brutal and fast paced and hardcore and awesome and all that good shit and I love that I've dropped like <laughs> I've dropped like six hours to it and I've gotten I've gotten one trophy I'm like yep that sounds about right you gotta work for shit in this game which would make you think that I would be way into, like, Dark Souls and Demon Souls. But I tried, I think it was Dark Souls 2, because I got that for free on Xbox 360 Live. Blah, blah, Games with Gold was the program. And I was like, oh, cool. People, people love this game, and it's, you know, it's a throwback to, you know, kind of hardcore difficult stuff. I'm like, that sounds cool. That sounds neat. And I, try, <laughs> I tried it and just kept getting my ass kicked over and over again. And I'm like, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> this kind of blows. I feel like I'm being... Snake Piss put it best. It, it feels less like a game and more like punishment for liking games. And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe it's not for me. Which is a big bummer, too, because Bloodborne on PS4 is like a killer app. It's supposed to be, like, one of the reasons to own the game. And I'm like, well, if it's, if it's, it's made, you know, it's made by the same guys and it's similar to 
Dark Souls and Demon Souls. I'm like, well, if it's like that, I don't want to fucking play it, man. I don't know. Maybe I need to give it another shot. And I probably will. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> all right. Let's see if I got to keep all my... Keep all my goodies. I keep forgetting how the... Uh... How the autosave works on this. I think... Surprisingly, it's been pretty forgiving. We'll see. Ooh, 0 to 80 real quick. Real fucking quick. Press X to continue. Alright, let's see. Let's see if they let me keep my stuff. Yeah, stun bomb. Beautiful. I got four points. Can I do... Ooh, speed of recovery. Oh, man, do I just save up to beef that thing up? Probably not. Actually, I use my micro missiles a lot. Not enough there. Well, let's do that. And let's do that. Boom, problem solved. Wunderbar. Okay. Take two. Oh man. Way take two. You know what I haven't used in a while? My pale chainsaw. We're gonna go a little nutty with him, I think. Or her. make sure I'm not fucking jumping away from where I need to go. Because <sighs> I wouldn't put it past me. Alright. Well, I guess I need a projectile weapon right now. Like, let's be real. Oh! <laughs> I like that parts explode off of me when I fall to my death. Again, I'm going to chalk this up to no booze. Play better with a couple drinks. Maybe. I don't know. You would think a game like this, being wired from all the sugar and the two hot cocos I had would do the trick. But, here we are. I fucking fell to my death twice, like a jabroni. Like a jabroni. Who does not smell what the rock is cooking. Instead, he smells his own farts. Just kidding. I don't smell my own farts. Yet. Give me those. Okay. Yeah! Look at that. Made that with a single jump. It's like I don't even need double jump boots. I bet some lunatic out there has beaten the game without them. Speaking of Doom, I just checked out part one of... There was a crowdfunded documentary about the making of this one specifically, but they also talked about a little bit about their legacy and uh, at id Software. And it was super cool. And I think part two just came out today. It was really neat getting a, a peek behind the scenes. Shit! <laughs> ah, load times. Load times will be the death of me yet. But yeah, they interviewed a bunch of people down in Tejas. That's Texas for all you English speakers, such as myself. Uh, they went down to Texas and talked to a bunch of guys, and it was just cool hearing hearing it from the horse's mouth, and also hearing about Doom 4, which is not this game. It is the game they were working on prior to this, and 
it was definitely shaping up to be Call of Doom tea, which, I mean, it has its merits, like, and it, I'm sure it would have found a big audience, but this is such a breath of fresh air. I'm so fucking glad they made this instead. Because they're, they're more cinematic... Call of Duty style shooter was going to take place on Earth during like a hell invasion so you have like a big cast of supporting characters and cover based shooting and all this stuff that we've kind of seen a trillion times at this point and it's just not Doom like even, even though Doom 3 is slower paced and more about scaring the shit out of you. Even that feels more like Doom than their Doom 4 concept. So I'm glad I'm glad this came. I'm so happy this exists. Even though I clearly suck fat fucking butts at it. <laughs> fat fucking butts. You can put that on my tombstone. And I mean like the, the rock that marks where my corpse is. Not, please, please not on my frozen pizza. <laughs> please don't put fat fucking butts on my frozen pizza. I don't want it. I don't want it. You're getting into cake farts territory, which, yuck. If you don't know what cake farts is, and if you like uh, upsetting things... <laughs> Go ahead and Google that one. Have yourself a real lemon party. Though I will say it's not as it's not as graphic as Lemon Party. But in its own way, it's just as sad. Which that kind of makes it worse. Well, not worse. As bad. I've realized the internet is both the best and worst thing at the same time. Which, boy. What a time to be alive. You can watch a sad woman fart on a cake. Graphically. Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Yep. Nope. What kind of Doom Slayer am I? I keep running from these demons. Rip. Goodbye. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, I haven't played with some of my new toys yet. Hey! What the fuck? No. So, I got it. Straight up, jumping is what's killing me. It's not these little wiener demons so don't get it twisted do not you know circling back to Star Wars Star Wars is great and all but when are we getting the Babylon 5 expanded universe that's what I want to know Ooh, I got Praetor suit tokens. What? Vacuum 2 upgraded. That's cool. Oh, do I have a choice of objects here? What's my other one? Dazed and confused. Wow, that sounds better. Let's definitely rock out with that. Also... Ah, more rune trials. Got it. That fun stuff. Where's my... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've only got one. All right. No worries there. Rip, rip. Okay. All right. Let's play a game called Don't Fucking Fall Off the Stupid Stuff. Matt. You fuck. <laughs> Worst Doom Slayer ever! 
and the legends told of the Doom Slayer, the one who walked through hell and tore his enemies asunder. But also, he kept fucking falling off catwalks like an idiot. Because he, like, forgot how his legs worked or something. It was really embarrassing. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Alright. Man, you guys should play baseball. Basketball. Any sport where you have to throw an orb. You guys would be fucking millionaires. But no. Let's hang out on Mars. Like jagoffs. And throw fireballs at an angry guy. Look at that. That's where that that's where that got you. You dumb idiot. Boom, boom. Could have had an amazing career. But nope. Oh, here we go. Hi! <laughs> oh, Chainsaw, I missed you so. I don't... I'm not... Uh, I like Gears of War. I don't love it. But... You know what they got super fucking right? Constant chainsaw. Here, let's attach one to your gun. That's literally the best idea I've ever seen in my life. Every... Shit, shit, shit. Oh, you spooked me. I got spooked bad. Um, everything should have a chainsaw attached to it, right? Like, what is the downside to that? Hey, Star Wars, you need a new gimmick lightsaber? Chain saber, baby. That one's free. There we go. Okay. Add a loop. All right. All right, we're getting somewhere. Without tripping over my own feet and falling to my death like a stupid dork. All right. One, two, three. Yeah! Shamp. Shamp! Noise. Give me that armor. Checkpoint reached. Oh. Oh, is that Tilda Swinton? I thought that was a monster. That's an argent accumulator she's carrying. Ugh. What is she made out of? She's so gross. Yuck. Alright, well she's she's got to go. She has got to go. Ooh, boss fight. Ooh, big beefy arms. Scale the tower. Nice. That sounds exciting. And welcome to the UAC. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Can I dual wield super shotguns? Because that's the dream, right? <laughs> Dude, this game has the best premise ever. Well, there's an energy crisis, so we thought we would just siphon energy from hell. Who'd have thought that wouldn't work out awesomely for everyone forever? Al Gore, take note. That's how you make that fucking statement. You make a hilarious action horror maelstrom, and then you just package that in alongside it. That's how you get people to give a shit. What up, Skink? <laughs> he doesn't exist anymore. All of his goo flew out. Oh, that shoots instantly. That's that's pretty dope. <laughs> Don't tase me, bro. I tase you, bro. Whoop. Boom. Punch your head off. Oh, this fucker. <laughs> oh, no, that's a new one. Savagery. Oh, there's 
so many dudes. Dudes are plenty. Nighty night. I keep using that line. I gotta bust out my other my other sweet lines. I've only got three. Boom. Okay. Oh shit! You again! Oh my god, there's so much stuff happening. Okay. Super shotgun. Okay, took a big chunk out of her. Oh, oh hi! Damn. Oh, she's summoning the big knight dudes. Oh, not anymore, she's not. Oh, Vita Zane, baby. Okay. Woo! Woo ah. Yeah. Get out of my face. Get out of my life. Ooh, there's a purple orb up there. I want a purple orb. Oh, I gotta touch it, though. Derp. Quad damage! Yes! I have to find somebody to damage, though. Like that guy. <laughs> that was... Uh, to call it a waste would be maybe an understatement. Ugh, okay. Let's explore this room for a second. <laughs> I like that I got quad damage and then used it on one little wiener guy. Them's the brakes. Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay, well, there's that. Oh, maxed out. All right, all right. We'll make this work. Tim Gunn style. Hmm. Right. Whew, oh, wow. That walking in there while that thing was moving uh, tripped my mind out for a second. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, ever since I found out the middle rail on subways in New York City is electrified, I've been paranoid, even just in a silly video game, I've been paranoid about walking on rails. Okay, well, this is fine. Nothing there. Oh yeah. Give me that alien vs. Praetor token. I googled Praetor because I'm a dork. And it is a... It was a rank in the Roman army. And it sounds cool, which is probably the re the real reason they picked it. It just sounds badass. Oh yeah. Oh, that's just I got so I got so pumped up to see that thing. I thought I had another upgrade, but I did not. Don't walk there. That makes me want to walk there. I'm Doom Slayer. I do whatever I want. <laughs> okay. I like. <laughs> okay. So that's something. That's something. Full up. Okay. Alright. Cool. Okay. Oh boy. I'm going in. Alright, I've got a great feeling about this. Oh yeah, use them arms. Oh sh- that is awesome looking. Alright. Oh no! Look at this fat boy! Uh, super shotgun please! Oh, that's not the super shotgun. Super shotgun please. Does have a shield? Oh, nope. 
Eat that motherfucker! Oh, he's kind of a baby. Whoop. That wasn't so bad. Oh shit. This guy's always bad. Oh, the music is fucking radical here. Awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, gang. It's almost midnight. It's almost midnight. But I have a feeling I'm going to want to finish this room. I have another feeling that might take me a minute. Because <laughs> I kind of suck. All right. Come on, you big, beefy son of a bitch. <laughs> He's so gross! He's got a fucking fupa to Mars and back. Super fupa over here. <laughs> Eat that shit! That is so awesome. That is just balls of the wall fucking rad. Oh, look at that armor! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, there, oh shit, spoke too soon. There's another one of you. There we go. There we go. Thank you, big fella. Oh, this motherfucker. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah! Oh, super shotgun. You are my salvation. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, damn! Oh, super shotgun. May have uh, gone too far in a few places. Two shots left. Oh! Quad d d damage. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, if you let him live, he gets real, uh, real saucy, doesn't he? Oh, gross. <laughs> he, got, he got so many parts to fuck with. All right. Who is, uh, oh, damn it. Broseph, you are the bane of my existence. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many dudes! <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes! Boom! Get out of here. Take a hike. Whoop. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Okay. Stop surviving! <laughs> oh man doom monsters are great because they're like a high tech evil dead oh, except they're not as snarky I do have to I have to give evil dead the edge there doom monsters never try to imitate your loved ones either what the fuck no I talked too much shit about that fat guy. His cousin took me out. Brutal. Ooh, why don't I chainsaw him next time? Thanks, game. That is a super tip. Just the super tip. Wink. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do something terrible. 
Oh, low fuel. Insufficient. Boy, this was dumb. Okay, yeah, fair point. Fair point, Mancubus. Understood. You, uh, you earned that round. Any guzzoline in here? No. Okay. Super shoddy. Yep. Boy, I never thought I'd never thought I'd need to skip a doom cutscene. Oh shit, gross! <laughs> Okay, let's... There we go. Oh, shit! Fuck! <laughs> let just lay on this for a minute. Oh, boy! Fellas! Calm down! Holy shit! Guys, let's relax and do something besides rip apart my body. Just a thought. Mm, just a thought. Okay. These demons know how to mix it up. Alright. Yep, it's very it's a very cool tower. He's, he's got a big people. Understood, Doom. Made your point very clear. I like to mix it up too. Okay, fuckos. Now let's get this armor, as they say in jolly old England. Let's get fucking quad damage. Yes. Oh, or miss it completely, like a genius. Ha <laughs> Damn. Mancubus and Big Man, Hell Knight, I think. Is his uh, claim to fame? Good old Hell Knight. Here, let's uh, let's Google that fella while we're loading. H E double hockey sticks. Knight. Doom. Oh yeah, that's him. That's the one that got me. Secret Ghostbusters quote. Okay, okay, we got this. I'm feeling saucy this time. Oh yeah, cracking my neck and everything. Just like a cool action guy. What up? Yo, dog, I heard you like shotgun shells. Rip. Rip. Oh, shit. Okay, that was weird. Uh, I'll take it. Okay, we did not make that jump. We did not make that jump. Don't die from that. I guess I shouldn't be, uh... I shouldn't be close enough to tongue kiss those things. How about I use my fucking rocket launcher? Save that super shoddy for later. Again, that's Resident Evil brain. You can't ever use your 
your rocket launcher ammo, Matt. You need to save that forever. It's like, bro, this is Doom. They don't give a shit. Alright. Mmm, yes. What is my bonus thing for my rock? I haven't even used my rocket launcher yet. Or my, my new add-on for it. Remote detonation. Mm, okay. That might come in handy. Might. Alright. Hey, buddy. That <laughs> just waddles through it like nothing. Damn. Damn, dude! Wow! You are a trooper, my guy. Hey, I'm the monkey, but you have to hit me with rockets 50 times. I guess that's what that big gooch is for. Alright. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, because I got, I got tons of damage. Okay. Pull the plug. Fuck you. Definitely fuck you. Start them all. Fuck you, my guy. No! No, I got got from behind! Prison rules, eh? Alright. Alright, crew. I need, uh, send, send me your good vibes. Because this is, this is going to be my last run at this for tonight. So, you know, if you, if you believe, if you believe in miracles, we're going to make this happen. Got my rocket launcher. I'll make a beeline for the quad damage. Mmm, I can feel it. There's only so many fat dudes you can throw at me, game. Ooh, Jesus. Flamethrower fat dudes. Yeah! Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll get... oh shit, 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 no! <laughs> okay, we'll get some more health. Hi! Hi, 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 hi. How are you still alive? How are you still alive? So much guts came out of you when I shot you with that. Hell Knights are straight douchebags. Straight up, full stop. We're giving that one more go. Because that was bullshit. I got punked out. By jumping. Jumping is the real villain of Doom. It's the ultimate demon. Which stands to reason that uh, you drop Mario on Hell Mars, give him that super shotgun, probably do okay. Bro, bro, could wall jump up there. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it is it punch out rules? Should I specifically be going for his big gross belly? <laughs> that is super satisfying every time. Okay. Okay, that's what, that's, okay. Damn, fuck. Okay. Still get that armor. Thank you. Oh, I thought that was a guy. 
He had roughly the same posture as uh, one of these little baddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of town! Okay, there's dudes up there. Big fat boy right there. We got lots of super shotties. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Fuck! Where'd he go? Shit. <laughs> I think the Doom Slayer would probably be a lot more cool about this than I am. I'm like, oh my god! Alright. Alright. Yeah! Fuck you! Come on, round boy, we're gonna have some laughs. Ooh! Oh, I'm not getting taken out by a little wiener boy. Getting taken out by a big wiener boy, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Give me your goo. Don't cross the streams. Bleep! Ooh! <laughs> Okay. Ah! There we go. Gotta use my new toys. Can I get to that? Not quite. That's okay. There's a bunch of stuff here. Who was even left? How are there any even demons left in hell? Kill like a billion dudes. Yeah! There you go. There you go. That's how you end a stream. Anybody watching, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, thanks for dealing with me getting stuck in one room for an hour again. Uh, I'm not going to do that every time. Hopefully. Um, I'll be... Uh, I'll be I'll be back on next week. I don't know if I'll be playing Doom still, because I'm just renting it. Um, ooh, an elevator. Um, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe I will. This game fucking rules. I noticed there's a... What do they call it? Snap map. Which is like... If you're not familiar with this game, it appears to be Mario Maker for Doom. Which is like the best idea I've ever heard in my life. So, that's dope. Maybe I will play this again next week. Maybe I'll play this again every week. It's, it's fucking rad. This is Matt. This is Super Apartment Friends. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great week. We'll catch you on the next one.